Yay, you're back. Thank you again for being a loyal subscriber on Catherine Mesa One. And because of that, I'm gonna give you a little secrets of auditioning, the do's and don'ts of what to do inside that audition room. So, first of all, you wanna walk in there confident. You've got this. You were born to play this role. You were up all night preparing for this role. Don't walk in there with your head down. Definitely don't go and shake their hands. They don't need your germs. Just slate your name when they tell you to. All you've gotta do is say hi. I'm Catherine Mesa, and then nail it. You got this. It's a little bit harder if it's a cold reading because you got that paper in your hands, but take your time. This is your 60 seconds, right? You've moved to New York or Hollywood or any famous city that you've gone to to be a performer. So perform. The people in that room are going to be some of the most important people that you're ever going to act in front of. So take advantage of that opportunity. Get excited when you go into these auditions. It's not nervous. It's not scary. It's awesome. Congratulations for even getting in the room in the first place. But now we've got to get to the don'ts. Do not ever accept an audition in a hotel room. Do not ever practice the scenes one-on-one -on -one with the director at their home the night before. It is not okay to send explicit material of yourself to someone that may be asking you for things like bikini shots or lingerie online if that's not what the role calls for or you've never heard of anybody else doing anything like that. Protect yourself. Know your morals. You use your gut to know what's right and wrong and what's professional and what's not professional. Luckily, because of the hashtag MeToo movement, all that casting cast nonsense has gone away. But I know in my heart that you're going to rock this. You're going to do it right. And everything is going to go awesome for you. So keep up the good work. Nail that audition.